back again children. We stuck with the potential. I made certain analogy. Rebeginning from there. I said, these are the identities. Water, whatever we understand by water. It's quite similar with that understanding as of heat and of charge. Presence of water in a container will give a level. Presence of heat in a container will give a temperature. Presence of charge on a conductor will give a potential. Water flows from higher, higher pressure to low pressure. Similarly, heat flows from higher temperature to lower temperature and charge will flow from a higher potential to lower potential. But how long? How long will water flow from a higher pressure to lower pressure? Water flows from a higher pressure to lower pressure till the pressure of both becomes the same, that it, it maintains pressure equilibrium. Similarly, heat flows from a higher temperature to lower temperature to maintain temperature equilibrium and charge flows from a higher potential to lower potential till the potential of the two body becomes the same. I'm giving you one more example to understand potential. Suppose this is body A. It contains 100 coulomb charge but has a potential difference of 50 volt. The other has a 50 coulomb charge B but is at a potential of 100 volt. And suppose if I make some connection between the two. From where will the positive charge flow? The positive charge Q will flow from 100 potential to 50 potential from B to A irrespective of the quantity of charge. And how long will it flow? It will flow till the potential of both, till the potential of both becomes some V till they both acquire the same potential. I hope you've got some understanding of potential. Now, the formal uh, definition of potential, the formal definition of potential that one must realize. I'm writing it down for you to grasp it better. Potential, potential is the work done in bringing unit, unit, positive charge from infinity to vicinity of another charge, of another charge. V is given as W by Q, a very important formula. V is given as W by Q. What is V? Potential or potential difference. Its unit, volt. V, nature, scalar. W, unit, joule. Nature, scalar, Q. You already know, Coulomb, nature, scalar. From here, we say W is equal to VQ. That is, when a charge is moved in a potential difference, work is said to be done. A simple example over here. Uh, what is the work done? Mm -hmm, sorry. What is the work done in moving a proton in a potential difference of 100 volt W 
will be equal to VQ. Q, 1 proton means 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. V, I told you 100 volts. So work, SI unit, SI unit. So work will be also in SI unit. It will be 100 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule, which is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 17, 17 joule. Simple, as simple as this. If I tell you, uh, what is the work done? When an electron moves in a potential difference of 1 kV, simple, electron, electron 1 E or 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. If potential difference 1 kV that means 1000 volts so work done will be equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 16 to as simple as this potential and potential difference are two different things and we must understand that very carefully take for example I tell you uh, I have 100 rupees and you have 400 rupees. So what is the difference in the money that we have? 400 minus 100, 300 rupees. Similarly, if I say I have 1000 rupees and you have 1300 rupees, what is the difference in the money that we have? 300 rupees. So irrespective of the money that we have, the difference in the money that we have is the same. Similarly, the potential of a point is 10 volts and the potential of another point is 5 volt. What is the potential difference? 5 volt. The potential of one point is 1000 volt and the potential of the other point is 1005 volts. So the potential difference is 5 volt. In which case will the current flowing be more? In case of 10 and 5 or 1000 and 1005? Right, you get it correct. The current flowing in both the case will remain similar because the potential difference is the same. So current flows not because of the potential of two places, two points, two ends, two parts, two ends of the conductor, but it flows because of potential difference. And Ohm's gave a wonderful law relating this feature. According to Ohm's law, the current, the current flowing across the ends of the conductor, the current flowing across the ends of the conductor is directly proportional to potential difference. Very, very important. Potential difference. V, potential difference. If it is VA over here, VB over here, because I have shown the current flowing in this direction, it is obvious VA is greater than VB and VAB, potential difference, let me say it as V. So, current flowing in the wire is directly proportional to potential and you know what is the constant of the ratio? The constant of the ratio is the property of the wire taken. That is called the resistance. So we have V is equal to Ri. Rather, V is equal to Ir. And this is the Ohm's law. The famous Ohm's law. So for today, finishing it here. And next class... We'll again begin with resistance.